So we're close to the finish line. We've been working on this big question. Was the construction of the Hoover Dam positive or negative? And you're going to be supporting that claim with the evidence that you guys have retrieved from all these, from all these sources um, when we get to our culminating assignment probably tomorrow. In a moment, we're going to follow our same procedure for first reads with the text, which is you're going to read it once. When you're done reading it, I need you to stand up. When you've stood up, if you find somebody else who's standing up, you're going to partner read with that person. When both of you have finished your partner read, come back to your desk and then wait for everybody else to finish up. Um, and then I will grab, we'll go to the bean table and we'll read together. So silently read, stand up when you're done reading, and then you'll find a partner, and then you'll do a partner read. Water that was once money is now sparkling clear in reservoirs and in stretches of the Colorado River. Ethan, do you need a partner? You can join us. Hoover and the other dams on the Colorado have teamed the turbulent flow creating clean bodies of water that provide recreation for more than 10 million people each year. These waters have also provided habitats for fish and wildlife in areas that were once nearly barren. Really nice job. We're going to be right there. Will you read that for us, Ethan? We leave everything exactly where it is right now and then come over to our miniature whiteboard. Remember, we're posting this on the internet where we'll live forever. A billion people in India will watch this video. Probably not. I want you to listen closely because one of the words that we need to know the definition of is a turbulent. And if we don't know this definition, then we're not going to be able to describe one of the benefits of this specific dam. So listen carefully. Water that was once money is now, excuse me, water that was once muddy is now sparkling clear in the reservoirs and it stretches of the Colorado River. Hoover and other dams on the Colorado have teamed the turbulent flow, creating clean bodies of water that provide recreation for more than 10 million people each year. So again, let me read that sentence again with this word turbulent. Hoover and other dams on the Colorado have teamed the turbulent flow, creating clean bodies of water that provide recreation for more than 10 million people each year. And I'll dial in just that one part. Colorado have teamed the turbulent flow, creating clean bodies of water. So it's helpful if we remind ourselves what team is. And we'll have somebody read that definition for us. Where's my substitute harbor master? Hunter, will you call somebody for me? All right, so that was the definition that you guys created for me. So again, what it says here is um, Hoover and other dams on the Colorado have teamed the turbulent flow, creating clean bodies of water. So what do we think turbul turbulent might mean? You can keep your hands down. I'm going to let you do a term and talk here. All right, with a partner, go ahead and share your answer. Kristen, will you work with Gage? And we'll work together. What do we think turbulent might mean? It might mean strong. Okay, so you say strong. Yeah. You agree with strong? So when I looked at that sentence, Colorado have teamed the turbulent flow. So you think that they're teaming something strong? Okay, it might be strong. So we're going to listen carefully for other people's answers. Okay. And when you're ready, Sydney will call on one of you.
What do we think turbulent might mean? It might mean it could be strong. All right, so we have this idea of maybe turbulent means strong. So the water is moving a whole bunch, so taming it. Um, so that's, if turbulent is moving in a bunch of different directions, we're training it to go in one direction. Like wild. Okay, so turbulent might be wild. It's moving in lots of different directions. I see lots of affirmations for that. Okay, and so you're adding on to all three definitions. So if turbulent might be wild, strong, moving in lots of directions. Now because this is going to be an important part of what we're working with today, does anybody want to create a non-linguistic representation for this idea of turbulent, wild, strong, moving in lots of directions? We'll give everybody a chance to think about it. And then, Dakota, you can call on somebody. What do you think, Brooke? All right, so you want some water and waves? Really, only one person agrees with that idea? Let's collect one other idea, and then we'll see if it gets lost. Ralph, what do you think? Waterfall? All right, like a waterfall. So it's very similar to what Brooke said. So Brooke, you want to come up here? Remember, we're going to only give her 10 seconds so that we can recreate these quickly. Seconds, not counting to ten. All right, so we get this idea of waves, this wild river. Thank you, Brooke, for coming up and sharing that with us. All right, when you go back to your desk, um, what I want you to do is I want to make sure that you have a highlighter. We're going to quickly review our annotation marks, and then we're going to preview our questions, and then you'll have an answer opportunity to work with your team. Okay, this time I want you to read silently one more time. One more time you're going to read this. This time as you're reading, you are annotating. You're looking for the evidence to our question, something that's interesting, question, and then those unknown words. You're accountable if you fail to circle something and another student circles it, I get to call on you. So, read it one more time, this time annotating according to our guide over there. And I will pull through one more time. Okay, so in document C, you learn that tame means, remember you take something from wild and you're going to make it more controllable. From paragraph two, what examples does the author give to show the consequence or result of having tamed the Colorado River? So I want you to think about what are these things that happen because we tamed the river? Water that was once muddy is now sparkling clear in reservoirs and in stretches of the Colorado River. Did we hear a benefit there? What did you hear? When it was muddy, it's, it was muddy and now it's clean. So let's make sure. Can you highlight it? There's one example. Muddy and now it is clear. So we'll be able to highlight that. And you'll have something to share with your team. That's recreation for 10 minute people. And two. It was muddy and is now sparkling clear. When I see pencils down and highlighters down, I realize that's when you're ready for a conversation with your classmates. So, 
irrigation gets in his pH, acres is a big body of land. Hydroelectric is water. The uh, general is uh, electricity generated by water. Kilowatt is a measure of electricity, um, 1,000 watts of electricity. Annually is yearly. Um, the reservoir is a man made lake created by a dam. Something else. Yeah, um, there is more than the, the river water integrates, irrigates more than a million acres of land in the USA and nearly half a million acres in Mexico. And then Owen. So that helps meet the, the multiple. And then there's a need of um, 14 billion. Oh, yeah, million people. About four billion kilowatts hours of energy is enough to for 500,000 homes to, are generated in the all right, show me ready. So, you were asked to find two advantages or benefits of having the Hoover Dam. Everybody always has the right to pass. We got Golden Poppy Yellow, number four. So, if you have evidence, will you come up here and highlight it? If you want to pass, you're welcome to pass. All right. Tell us what you're highlighting. All right, so you found the 14 million people, so that's one piece of evidence. And then when you highlight it, tell us what you're highlighting. Generates. Generates cost hydraulic power in Nevada. All right, so it generates hydraulic power in Nevada, Arizona, and California. And then it looks like we've got a few more hands in the air, so we'll see what they want to share. All right, what'd you highlight for us? About 4 million kilowatts of hours of energy, enough for 500,000 homes are generated in All right, so we have three pieces of evidence that we will add to this in just a moment.